And we're back to using generated fill. This time I have applied it to this old photo. Let me show you this on a specific example. So I go over these creases, these folds, and I simply leave the prompt empty and let it generate. The best results I've gotten by doing it step by step, so not selecting the big ones and all of them at once, but going one crease at a time. The results are okay. As always, there are some problems when it comes to hands, when it comes to noses. When these folds, they don't intersect or they don't have an overlap, you can use this function up here for the lasso tool. So add parts to a selection. And then you can select multiple of these smaller ones. This shouldn't be a problem as long as there's no overlap. Let us take care of the edges. Here I make a bigger selection. And I stay close to the edge of the original photo. And when you look at this, and even if you try it on this bigger part, the results look fine. But you have to be careful with arms. For example, here, here is one arm too many, obviously. But this one is okay. We can live with that. Here are a couple of stains. What seems to be better is when you go from the outside towards the inside with your selections, so step by step again. Don't start in the middle or in center of these stains, as the AI seems to use the surrounding to generate what it fills in. And when you start in center, it's going to use these stains as the surrounding to fill it. And here we are now. It's a great result. And we can certainly use that to restore it step by step or a little bit more in depth with the usual Photoshop retouching methods. But this is how you can use generated fill to at least partially restore these old damaged photos. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.